In this video, I'm going to talk about the chemistry that's involved in biology. Now, sometimes when biology students hear the term chemistry, they switch into this mode. <laughs> the aim of this video is to make sure that you don't switch into this mode. I'm going to explain to you some of the simple chemistry that's involved in biology. So the first thing we need to understand is that everything is made of matter. And all matter is made up of atoms. And I've got some example atoms here. They're rolling all over the place. Bear in mind that there are over a hundred different types of atoms. And these are just a few. But they're ones that are really common in living things. Oxygen, hydrogen, carbon, and nitrogen. Now sometimes atoms form molecules. And molecules are when more than one atom are joined together. So here we're forming some oxygen molecule and a, an oxygen molecule, a hydrogen molecule, and a nitrogen molecule. We call them molecules because we've got more than one atom that's joined together. I'm just taking carbon away for now. Now we call this type of molecule elements. We call them elements because they are made up of one type of atom. The oxygen molecule is made up of only oxygen atoms. Same with the hydrogen molecule and same with the nitrogen molecule. So these molecules we call elements. When different atoms chemically combine, we call those molecules compounds. An example of a compound is one that I'm sure you've all heard of, H2O. That means it's a molecule made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So let's get our one oxygen atom, put it together with our two hydrogen atoms. That makes the compound water. And then if we change that compound by only one atom, and make it now H2O2, we make a totally different compound. When we put together H2O2, we form hydrogen peroxide. That there is a hydrogen peroxide molecule. And the thing is, even though all we've done is made one minor change and we've got one different atom, Hydrogen peroxide in higher quantities is actually highly toxic. So we've gone from water, which is totally harmless and essential for living things, to hydrogen peroxide, which is highly toxic in large amounts. Another type of compound that you've probably heard of is carbon dioxide. C, so one carbon atom, and O2, two oxygen atoms, produces our carbon dioxide molecule. So that's an overview of molecules that are made of different types of atoms chemically joined together and we call them compounds. So carbon is actually an extraordinary element. It's very good at forming long chains and lattices and it's found in more compounds than any other element. And that brings me to the most important type of compounds in biology. Organic compounds. You can tell whether a compound is organic using three key criteria. An organic compound must contain carbon. I'll bring the carbon atom here and put it there to remind ourselves. All organic compounds are complex. They're not simple molecules, they're complex molecules. And all organic compounds are produced by organisms. Organisms, of course, means living things. And that is why we call the compounds organic. They're produced by living things. So they are the three key criteria for a compound to be organic. 
If a compound doesn't meet one of these three criteria, then we classify that compound as inorganic. So if it's not gonna meet one of these criteria, we call it an inorganic compound. So there are four major types of organic compounds that play really important roles inside of the cells of living things. One of those four major types of organic compounds are carbohydrates. Sugars are carbohydrates. Starches are carbohydrates. Now I've shown potatoes there because potatoes are really starchy. I thought it might help you remember that starches are carbohydrates and also because I wanted to show you this potato because it looks like a foot. <laughs> How could I not show you that potato? Uh, lipids, fats and oils are lipids. Proteins, meat contains proteins. Eggs contain proteins. And nucleic acids, well, DNA and RNA are nucleic acids. So they are the four major types of organic compounds. The name that we give to those four major types of organic compounds is macromolecules. The word macromolecules means large molecules made up of smaller subunits. Macro meaning large molecules. So guys, that's been this lesson on the chemicals of life. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it's helped you with your chemistry side of biology. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.